Unused, lazy orts. We all have them. You may utilize some as pack mules or low level salvage slaves, but for sure you have at least one that just sits there and catching dust. Well, let's turn them into a daily profit. Actually, there are plenty of activities that provide some profit from orts, like multi wood. But what we really want today is something that takes minimal time and effort. And that is parking. Basically, you move your orts into a specific location, lock them once per day for a few seconds and pick lucrative stuff. All mentioned options are daily character bound. It means that each of your characters can get them once per day. The first spot is on the end of Sharkmo Cavern jumping puzzle in the southeast corner of Lion's Arch. It's primarily for low-level characters, and since it's on Cortiria map, free-to-play accounts can use it as well. The main loot here are Dublins. You can either drop silver ones with characters around level 25 or platinum around level 53. Drop chance is around 10%. With greens and gemstones, it's a decent daily profit. The end of this jumping puzzle is easily accessible with a Mesmer portal, or you can watch my jumping guide. The second spot is just on the end of Searing Ascent jumping puzzle in Draconis Mons. To get there, you have to buy an expansion Heart of Thorns and Living World Season 3, Episode 5, Flashpoint. The chests have the same drops on every level, but only level 80 characters can enter this zone. Lower ones can use teleport to friend, but it's most likely not intended. The main drops are one guaranteed rare item and three fire orchid blossoms what can be converted into unborn magic and used for further profit. Jumping puzzle is quite long and difficult but you can use my guide with taco markers and mount speeds it up as well. The third spot requires Heart of Thorns with Living World Season 3, Episode 3, A Crack in the Ice. This time it's not about chests, but we will gather corals. The six fixed spots close to each other are underwater next to Soros Eclipse Waypoint in Bitterfrost Frontier. Each coral has very high chance to drop expensive coral orb. Next spot is inside of a tomb of the primeval kings in the desert highlands. This zone is only accessible with an expansion path of fire. Inside the tomb are six chests, three in each room. And then on the snake statue in the first room is lost dwarven chest. There is also randomly placed at least one of trade chests, but it requires a key what drops from various events or can be bought at hard vendors. On top of that is their Oricalcum node. Those chests drops mostly unidentified gear, rares and trade contracts. The last spot is on the top of Sanctum of Napka in southeast corner of Crystal Oasis so the expansion path of fire is required. You have basically two ways how to get there. The hard one through series of sand portals with jackal from the bottom, or if you own Griffin, just climb a few easy cliffs north from Temple of Cormir Waypoint and fly from the highest point directly on top. Three big chests drops mostly unidentified gear and trade contracts. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.